This all started about 1996. The National Guard Bureau was deploying distance learning classrooms throughout the 54 states, territories in the District of Columbia. And Oklahoma was uh, fortunate enough to get one of the first ones. Up to this point, we have 134 VTC systems throughout the state, and we're doing between 1,000 and 1,100 hours of video a month. And I know it's benefiting the state because we're keeping people off the roads, we're keeping them at their desk, where they can do the work, and we're allowing them to go home at night to be with their family and friends. I think the advantage of video conferencing more than anything is, is time, and we all are pressed for time. You can have meetings uh, at the spur of the moment, and you've got everybody you need there, and you're not impeded by weather or by distance or by time. Some personal experience I've had with video conferencing, we've used it to communicate with forward deployed forces, primarily in Louisiana back in uh, 2005 when we went down to support the state of Louisiana during Hurricane Katrina. We took a video teleconferencing package down with us. We were some of the first to have that capability and we were able to communicate back with Oklahoma from downtown New Orleans. We had daily commanders meetings with the folks on the ground that were in New Orleans and our other commanders and the, the management staff here in Oklahoma City. And it's important that our generals and colonels that are here in Oklahoma City can see the officers that are downrange, see the looks on their faces, to understand what they need. It makes a big difference. It's better than phone calls and it's a lot better than radios. I have the counter-drug mission underneath the military support. With that, we have four OH-58 helicopters that are part of the SNS company. We've been able to take the image from that helicopter, go through the video downlink into a laptop with a wireless card, and then we were able to go through an IP address and come back into the facility here over the teleconference. We're able to talk to the pilots and tell them where to go and what to look at. The technology has improved so much that it's just, it's just like they're sitting in the next room. The screens are so clear, the sound, everything. I mean, it's just a lot better technology, so why not use it? The National Guard Bureau, they are basically saying this particular training course will be done through distance learning. So that's going to get more people trained quicker and under the current op tempo. You want to make sure people get trained and get the training as quickly as possible. In the past, everybody comes in from the state four or five times a year. You've got 200 people that are our regional training institute. It's an all-day nightmare. And then they go home late that night. This way, we do the training one time. And then when we have new people come in or they have refresher training, they go to the visual communication server or they go to the podcast server and download it, put it on their media device, and they're able to watch it at their leisure. In order to do the training, uh, you know, we use a lot of PowerPoint slides. And in the past, the technology, you know, the screens weren't very clear. You couldn't even read the slides. So you always had to email the slides ahead of time, and people had to print them off. And it kind of defeats the whole purpose. And so you, know, you get clear screens, gets the high definition. It's, it's going to be much better for us. We want to make people's jobs as easy as we can. We want to keep them off the road. We want to keep them home with their family. And when they are deployed, we want them to be able to see the kids and mom or the kids and dad. Those are the big things. Those are the things that make the difference. And the only thing that is going to allow us to do that is video teleconferencing, high definition video teleconferencing.